Good morning, evening, or afternoon, everybody. It's Kago coming at you with another video. So today, we're going to be going over the Midsummer Fire Festival and everything you can sort of do with this. This came out with the launch of the Summer Olympics. Um, that's sort of why they delayed it. I thought they delayed it to sort of decide if they're going to put a hoon in or not, but it turns out they actually did leave a hoon in, and we will definitely talk about that, and it'll probably be a separate video getting into him and where you fight him and all that stuff. But, anyway, I just want to sort of take the time to go over all the stuff that we can do here, just in the overworld, and all that fun stuff. But before we get into the video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It helps the channel grow. It helps me so much, um, and it helps get my content out there to sort of help people any way that I can. And, you know, that's part of the grind, and, you know, the dream is just to, you know, do all that I can to sort of help people play the game uh better in any way that i can you know so anyway let's get into the video so we're here in orgrimmar um right outside of thrall's palace um in the valley of wisdom and we get three quests here so you have a torch tossing event which will give you um that it gives you a little item here so tosses a practice torch at the target area so you just sort of click on that um thing and you sit by the fire here and then you just throw the torch at the uh, stuff that has the marker. And that's pretty much the quest that you do. And you have to hit eight braziers before um, the time expires. If the time expires, then we uh, will uh, fail it. So we're just going to keep throwing these at the ones that get the arrows. And we were able to do that. Three seconds to spare. Um, pretty uh, good. And then we get those burning blossoms. So now we have this. is Catch four torches in a row. Then speak to him. Um, in order to do that, you know, we light this. And it will uh, sort of fling the torches. And we just have to run around and catch them. Um, so we're going to sort of do that. Um, as you can see. Oh. We already missed one. <laughs> So we come here, you have to throw the torch, and then it goes in the air, and we have to try to catch it. So as you see, we caught it there. Having your shadows on actually helps quite a lot with this, um, because you can sort of see it on the ground there. And voila, there's the four torches that we were able to catch. Just really sort of fun and little mini games. And then you, you can keep doing it to keep farming um, those blossoms and stuff once per day so you can catch 10 in a row and then you can um, win the torch throwing game he'll give you those um, torches and you just sort of uh, do those um, that way and then you can do the other one of hit the 20 braziers so the braziers one it is a time limit from the moment you collect it so once you start that, you do that, and then catch 10 torches in a row. So it's just the torch catching game that you guys saw right there. That starts when we um, sort of throw this one. So you pretty much understand that. It's just a little bit harder. Then we have incense um, for it, and that just makes you go to any of the encampments um, outside. There's minor ones that you sort of do. And we have an unusual activity thing, which is over... Um, in Ashen Vale, so that is all the way over here. Um, that's just something we can go turn in, but that is down here, and they make you go south of that for some unusual activity. Um, and yeah, so I'm not entirely sure what that is. And but anyway, the reason you do these quests, guys, is one, it does give you decent gold. As you were watching right there, we got 11 gold for doing them, and then you can come here every day do those. But the reason you do these is for these burning blossoms. And then you can take these blossoms that we have gotten. So we have 10 right here. And you can use these. You can either um, receive the buff or you can um, you can uh, exchange these for food. So like I'm amazed. So I want these Midsummer Sausages. Um, and you use them and it's just stacks. So it's just an extra 23 spell power um, for the days. There's a defense food. There is a hit food, which is pretty nice for all those melee. There's healing food. Um, there's an alcoholic beverage. And then there is um, toasted uh, s'mores. So, you know, you can get any of these food buffs. And there's some cool things um, uh, like juggling torches, uh, summer petals, vestiment of summer, which is like this robe right here. Um, you can get the, the shoulders as well, um, sandals, 
and then you can get a dancing uh, brazier of dancing flames, um, and you can also get a captured flame. So they're just a little cool rewards, fun cosmetic things. If you're going to do this just for the buffs, um, then you pretty much just come here and do that and get those things, and then you have those quests. And then we're going to now go and sort of show a little minor encampment that we can go turn in um, incense for it, and then we will go to... Um, the uh, twilight camp to sort of show you guys that so i will see when we get there all right guys so as we're arriving here in ashenvale for this minor encampment um there's a few things that i want to show you um first off you just come here you turn this in bam quest done then this guy will give you a quest to honor the flame so this is just going around and honoring it you get six gold for it so it's actually pretty decent if you're uh max level to do that then we have playing with fire this is just to go to the capital and sort of do all that stuff now something i want to show you guys is this um ribbon pole thing is that you can uh right click here and you will uh spin and dance you'll get an increasing buff if you are not max level highly recommend that you do this um it's really great for any alts any leveling you're doing 10 percent more xp for killing mobs is absolutely nuts um it'll stack to 60 minutes so you just sort of have to sit there and spin for a decent amount and you can it'll keep moving as well um but yeah you get that flame it's pretty uh cool and then, um, yeah, you just get more uh, sort of uh, of those um, burning blossoms that you can exchange. Now, also, we do get this bonfire's blessing, which will increase that. Um, so, like, if this bonfire was out, we could right-click that. And so as we did that, we made it go up. And you get increases critical strike percent by 3 and causes fire damage to attackers. So it's just another cool buff that you can uh, get. I'm not sure if it is spell crit or not. I would have to see. Um, I don't think it is because usually it will say spell crit or normal crit. Um, but yeah, that's just something that you can do and get more buffs like that. I have yet to test if these are removed in a raid situation or not. I will definitely give that a test when um, when everything happens um, on tomorrow, actually, is when I'm raiding. So I'll definitely test that and sort of let you guys know that. So anyway, we're going to go to this Ashenvale quest down here and sort of see what that's all about. So I'll see you guys when we get there. So we've made it here um, to these twilight cultist flame guards so we just got to kill them we got the correspondence then we use this beacon here and we sort of turn it in for our next step pretty straightforward pretty easy um and then this uh, earthen ring guide comes but this is the process that you need to do to sort of um summon a hoon and the ability to do so um so it's pretty uh, important that you do this if you're interested in doing um the ahun stuff um then we gotta listen we gotta use the orb of the crawler um to spy upon the new twilight to the west of the entrance and that listen to the plan so we gotta find this orb use that orb and sort of uh see what they're doing so this puts turns us into a crab um and yeah, so we're going to head over there and sort of see exactly what we need to do with that. And should be pretty easy. Um, it looks like the camp's all the way up here. So we have, we're have we just going to mount up since these mobs are very low level. And we will uh, use the crab when we get there. So one moment with that. Um, but yeah, this is what's going to be needed to summon a hoon. And so make sure that, you know, you do this if you're interested in that. You can actually summon him five times in a row on normal um, if you have a group sort of farming that. And if you, on heroic, because of he drops a badge of justice, you can actually only do it once. So you just need to make sure on heroic one person has this. And Ahun drops some really, really good loot um, if you haven't really been raiding to get your um, some of your best in slot pieces, then I would highly recommend that you uh, definitely farm him up because he can drop some really good stuff he drops a tank camp as well which is also really good but yeah you just turn to a crab guys you listen to this and then we will have the final step which is going to be um getting to a hoon and stuff like that so i will uh, see you guys after this so after you're done uh spying on him you just use your totem again you get this and then you 
return to the capital city, turn those back in, and then he will send us on our way to do the quest to uh, defeat Ahun, which is the last part of this. Um, and yeah, it allows you to summon it once per day. So that's the important thing. So if you have a bunch of people that are doing the same thing, um, then you just go ahead and, you know, you can constantly do it on with a group of five. Summon him, kill him, someone kill him, someone kill him, something like that. But yeah, just, there are a lot of, it's in heroic slave pins, so, or normal slave pins if you so choose. But, um, it's not too hard of a fight. There are, it's just a lot of ads and stuff, but we'll definitely film us going in there and doing that, um, for tomorrow's video. But anyway, that's sort of the attunement process getting ready to do uh, a hoon and as you're about to see when we turn in this quest here we will get the opportunity to go and do that um now so there we go we have a hoon the frost lord so that's what we get to sort of do that then we have um that near the dark portal you can sort of do that daily as well um, but it's just more stuff to get more of these um, sort of buffs and things like that that you can do. But anyway, guys, that's it for this video. It's already long enough. Um, we'll definitely cover a hoon loot a hoon in tomorrow's video. So I hope you enjoyed this, and I will see you next time. Bye bye. If you made it to the end of this video, thank you so, so much for watching. It truly means a lot to me. If you happen to find anyone that you know would also benefit from watching this video, please, please, please share it with them. It helps me out a ton and allows me to keep doing what I love every single day. And that is gaming and sort of helping people any way that I can. So finally, thank you so much, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Goodbye.